Welcome to this session on Harmony Mobile Dashboard and Forensics. By the end of this session, you'll be able to gather insights from the Harmony Mobile Dashboard and its granular forensics view. By now, you've deployed Harmony Mobile by either implementing an integration with a UEM, or by manually onboarding mobile devices with Harmony Mobile. Once operational, information starts flowing from the deployed devices to the dashboard, which presents a snapshot of device risk statistics, device status, top threats, and security events by type. Before drilling down into the Forensics tab, let's briefly go over the main areas of the dashboard view. The Device Risk area displays the number of devices in the organization that are currently at risk and their risk classification. Clicking in this section will redirect you to the Forensics tab. The Device Status area displays the number of devices registered in the dashboard. Among other things, it includes information about their active, provisioning, and registration state, and the percent of devices with current and older agent version. Clicking in this section will redirect you to the Devices tab. The Top Threats area displays the top threats encountered. Here you can see a summary of all threat factors that are currently present on all protected devices. Clicking the values in this section will redirect you to the Forensics tab with the relevant filter applied. The Security Events by Type area displays the security events types over time. It also displays the total number of applications scanned on devices attached to the dashboard. Clicking in this section will redirect you to the Forensics tab into the relevant filtered events view. Finally, Quick Actions enables the admin to easily enroll new users and devices to Harmony Mobile. As mentioned, clicking within the Risk, Threats, or Security Event sections will send you to the Forensics tab. You can also browse to it independently. The Forensics tab displays the security forensic data collected across the enterprise. The Events and Alerts tab displays all security-related incidents and actions that occurred on the devices. This information includes the severity of the event, the nature of the event or alert in terms of its attack vector, the threat factor, that is, the reason for the severity level. And, it includes the action performed by the solution in the face of this threat. The Application tab presents applications by application risk or by MARS score. The Applications Risk view helps the admin understand the risk level of an application. You can drill down into each application for additional details. Alternatively, the MARS Score subtab provides an analysis of any mobile application that is uploaded to the service, either as a binary APK or IPA file, or via link to the official Apple App Store and Google Play. MARS stands for Mobile Application Reputation Services. Once uploaded into Harmony Mobile Dashboard, a full app analysis report is generated within minutes. This analysis is based on an app's security, that is, its vulnerabilities, its reputation, and how it handles privacy. Based on the MARS analysis report, administrators can make educated decisions before they distribute an app to their organization's mobile devices using their MDM for example. Moving on, the Network tab displays any reported network event with a more granular view of network events in the context of the network in which they occurred. Next, the iOS Profiles tab displays the network configuration profiles for iOS devices. This allows the administrator to get a clear understanding of the profiles installed on the devices in the organization. This is important, as iOS profiles can open a security hole where an attacker can create and install a malicious network configuration profile. This might cause them to act as a man in the middle, collecting all the information flowing from the device. The OS CVE tab displays the CVE vulnerability status per OS type and version and the number of affected devices. And finally, the Campaign Detection tab allows admins to detect if there are ongoing campaigns against their company's devices. This is based on predefined criteria of attack campaigns. A campaign is an attack using the same attack vector several times. So, for example, based on predefined criteria, the admin can be notified about a campaign against their employees using phishing, the network vector. By default, there are three pre-configured campaigns, for applications, Wi-Fi and network security. Admins can create their own definition of attack campaigns and define its criteria and threshold to be considered as attack campaigns. The threshold is based on the number attacks per category in a set number of past days. And with that, this session has come to a close. You should now be able to know your way around the dashboard to get important information at a glance, 
as well as drill down into various well-being aspects of your Harmony Mobile install base via the Harmony Mobile Forensics. See you in the next one.